Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. Join us for tonight's tale about a boy who didn't know what fear was until he met face to face with. Oh well, you'll find out soon enough. From the Brothers Grimm, the boy who left home to find out about the shivers. Long ago, in the mysterious and forbidding land of Transylvania, a father lived with his two sons. The elder was, like everyone else in the village, scared of his own shadow. But the younger one was innocent and unafraid of anything. This troubled him because it made him feel different. Well, that's, that's almost 200 talers. You'd have enough to build an addition onto the house, or a horse and cart. What do you say to that? I don't think they made this thing properly. What are you doing? I'm fixing the ladder. But you're standing beneath it. Well, Kiss the rabbit's wait, foot. It's just a ladder. Hurry. Ah! What? That's better. Younger brother, when are you ever going to learn? What's that? This sword hauling business is... Killing me! Hi, Father. Who said that? <laughs> oh, it's you. How many pounds today, Father? If it's three, it's three hundred. The Count's building a new indoor riding ring. Wow, let's see. Uh, three hundred at eight per minus cost. Why, that's over fifteen dollars profit, Father. At this rate, we'll be able to hire an assistant. We wouldn't have to if someone else around here had any common sense. Who said that? I didn't say anything. It's evil spirits. Quick, the garlic. Is this an owl? An owl? <laughs> How do you know? Kiss. It was just an owl. Kiss. Oh. Did you remember to buy me some? You know what? Hazel for my back oh, today. Oh, I forgot. You mean the witch hazel? Don't say that word ever! Here, step three times on this powdered newt. Uh. Uh. You're so stupid. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, look, a spider. Well, Here. Now he's stupid. Why, you little... My man! Oh. Now the other one. How would you like to go out and get me some, you know what, Hazel, son? Now? My back is killing me. But it's getting dark soon, and I'd have to cross the cemetery to get to the apothecary. I won't go, Father. Even the thought of it gives me the shivers. Oh, Father, send me. I'd like to go. I'd like to get the shivers. Oh, forget it. It's too late. Besides, you'd probably get lost anyway. You never had any sense when it comes to avoiding bad luck. Father! Huh? <laughs> Shortly after that disastrous day, the deacon from the village church stopped by. Deacon, it's driving me crazy. He's made up his mind that all he wants is to get the shivers. Ah, it's just a stage he's going through. I remember when I was a boy, all I wanted to do was 
think of naked Greek statues. Naked Greek statues? Yes. When I was in Martin's age, I wanted to be an admiral with my own fleet. But uh, obviously, I grew out of it. Exactly. Now you have your own sod delivery business. He'll give up this crazy notion of his as well. Oh, I don't know. I hope you're right. Oh, more wine? Ah, allow me. Oh. <gasps> Hurry! Oh. oh, that was close. See, the trouble is, Martin's never been very bright. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's not a whole lot in there to distract him. If all he wants is to get the shivers, I'll teach him. Leave him to me. I'll whip him into shape. Oh, I suppose it might work. He's bound to get something out of it. I'll give him a scare he'll never forget. Oh? <laughs> so Martin was given the job of ringing the church bell. Each night, the deacon awoke him to climb the steeple and toll the bell at midnight. church property. You know that. I think you better leave before I call the deacon. Now look, I don't know what you want, but I'm telling you for the last time, either tell me who you are or else. Well, that's it then. to this house. I, I, I can't stand the sight of you. <laughs> Give me the shivers. What? Here. 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 Here's a hundred, hundred um, fifty dollars. What have I done? Did I just... Take them what and are you... go out into the world and never tell a soul where you come from or who your father is. You, you mortify me. And that goes double me too, blockhead. Was it... Ow! What? Why? Ow! So it was that Martin left home to find out about the shivers. Being alone didn't bother him one bit, and even a violent thunderstorm caused him no concern. Finally, as night drew near, he came upon a parchment tacked to a tree. It was an official notice from King Vladimir asking for a brave young man to rid his castle of the evil spirits that haunted it. Sounds perfect! For further details, he was to inquire at the Stake and Brew Inn. looking for someone you won't find him here. Uh, I'm looking for King Vladimir's castle. Come in. Come in. I, uh, 
I thought I'd go to the haunted castle and sort of, you know, try my luck. But, um, <laughs> you see, I had this problem. What? Mm -hmm. I, I don't seem to be afraid of anything. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? No, 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 not all right. at all, not at all. Come in. Sit um, down. Would you like a drink? Maybe just a... Uh, yes, of course. Ah, oh, my dear. Another customer. Can I see Father? No, you may not. Now off to your room. Every time a new one comes, it's the same thing. I have to go to my room. Majesty. Uh, may I present King Vladimir Vladimir, Vladimir the second. The fifth. The fifth. Uh, he's the son of Vlad the Impaler. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Martin Jr. I'm the son of Martin Sr., the sod hall. Oh, God, I wasn't supposed to say that. I'm happy to make your brief acquaintance. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you're ready. Be it known to all who enter the kingdom of Vladimir V, son of Vladimir the Impaler, Vlad Sepesh, also known as Bad Vlad, that great treasures lie within for the man brave enough to spend three nights in his, uh, my, castle. And that any man having done so will win the treasure, the hand of the princess, and will thenceforth reign as king, etc., etc., etc. Any questions? Yes. Will it give me the shivers? The shivers? No one who has ever gone into that castle has come out alive. Well, it sounds great. Ah, Attila, have you cleaned out the last one's room? Yes, I see you have. Your share comes last, swine. Sandor. <laughs> Your preeminence. May I present you with a small bauble? Okay. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes, most satisfactory. Well, when do I start? This very night. But let me tell you that the others had a great deal more going for them than you do. Well, taller, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, would you like some food? We don't want you dying on an empty stomach, do we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, this feels so right. Martin ate heartily, confident that he had found a solution to his problem. Those peaches sure look good, don't they? Hey, tell me, um, how many men have been up to the castle before? I see. That's well, really quite a few, isn't it? But it seemed no one was willing to talk about the castle until... Good evening. My name is Amanda. My name is Martin. Are you the night clerk? Oh, oh, yes. I hope I did not disturb your thoughts. Thoughts? Oh, no, I was just eating a peach. Mm. Won't you sit down? Yeah. Would you like some fruit? No, thank you. I've come to warn you against going to the castle. You'll only lose your life like all the others. Well, I've got to learn about the shivers. And this seems like such a sure thing. 
Do you not want the treasure? Treasure? No. What would I do with treasure? I've never had more than a few dollars to my name. Oh, then it is the princess that you seek. Princess? What do I know about princesses? No. Anyway, she couldn't be as pretty as you are. Oh. <laughs> you are a very strange man. Much different than the others. You must have traveled a great distance. Yes, over ten miles. Oh, wow! Ten miles! I've never been further than this inn. Well, it's a big world out there. I have to go. I guess there's never any rest in the inn business. Uh, oh, yes. Listen, ask the king for three things to take with you to the castle. They may save your life. For three things? Yes. Good luck, and don't be scared. <laughs> no, you missed the point. I... Uh. Amanda may have <clears throat> missed the point, but she had given Martin valuable information. Right. Sign. Here. What is it? Oh, it's a release form, a mere formality. Height, five foot eight. All it says is that you are doing this of your own free will, and that if anything happens to you, I cannot be held responsible. Everyone signs it. Do you prefer pine or cypress? Uh, pine, I think. Yeah. Here. What is this it says about wanting the address of my next of kin? That's quite standard for the shipping of the body and uh, personal effects. But my father told me never to tell a soul who he is, and never to return. I see. Just how much money do you have? All about 50 dollars. Excellent. In that case, the personal effects will become the property of the crown. Here. Aren't you forgetting something? The three things I'm allowed to take with me? How did you know about that? A lucky guess, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh. Very well, you may have your three things. But remember, they must be lifeless. Hmm. Well, food, drink, oh, and a plate to eat on. Brass handles or stainless steel? Martin approached his first evening in the dark, forbidding castle with eager anticipation.
in here. No wonder the king stays at the inn. His wood bills must be staggering. Stone is carved into the wall. Watch. I think your imagination was playing tricks on you. I guess. Here, what you need is a little wine. Mm. You say when. That's fine, thank you. Feeling better? So why are you here? The princess sent me to talk you out of staying here before it's too late. Do you do this for everyone? No, the other ones didn't matter. And I do? But you're not just saying this to get me to leave, are you? Oh, I mean it. Gosh, you're the most wonderful girl I've ever known. I am? Of course, I've never known any girls before. But even if I had, I'm sure I'd still feel the same. Sam, you want some turkey? Yes, please. Let's see, I live here somewhere. Oh, see, you drank too fast. Oh, the rat? You're afraid of rats? Here, why don't you come on over here? I think you'll be more comfortable. Here we are. I think you'll feel better once you get a little food in your stomach. Get it here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Amanda? Next day dawned like most others in Transylvania, gray and gloomy. But a surprise was awaiting King Vladimir and the innkeeper 
when they entered the castle. What a pity. And such a handsome boy. And worth 50 talas to boot. Morning. Oh, we, we, we thought that you... Didn't the ghosts and evil spirits come? Well, there were a few. But, uh, I don't know, I just don't see what all the excitement's about. It was pretty dull most of the time. Didn't you get the shivers? No. Mm -mm. Wasn't scared at all. Boy, I'm hungry. When do we eat? Far from giving Martin the shivers, Spending a night in the haunted castle had left him with a voracious appetite and a desire for company. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sit down, sit down. No, up here, on the chair. You hungry? Well, here, why don't you just help yourself there? Do you ever feel bad because people think you're different? Do you know, we're alike, you and me. I mean, you've got the hump, and I can't seem to get the shivers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, if you're not doing anything in this evening, you want to come up to the castle? It's kind of boring me up there all alone. Mm-hmm. Mm. You don't? Oh, well, you're probably busy. But then night fell, and once again he found himself alone in the haunted castle. Yeah, this is real scary. Boy, I just don't see what all the excitement about this place is. I just don't get it. I get it. You're trying to scare me, aren't you? <laughs> well, look, if you don't mind me saying so, I think you're going about this all wrong. See, look at yourself. You're a joke.
Uh, look, stand up, stand up, come on, stand up. Yeah, throw your shoulders back. There we go. Don't slouch here. I think you got some height you didn't know you had. Uh, Real posture. About your clothes. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, this is the king's castle. You want me to see you in these? Hmm. One other thing. About your howl. I think you're using your voice wrong. You, know, you want to build from here, right? You want to build from here. <coughs> Just, sorry. Uh, listen to me. From here. <laughs> you try it. Yeah, you're building from here. And in such a short time, you've come a long way. Yeah. Oh.
Yeah. All right, it's just one thing, though. Ah. This ball you're using, huh? it's not really round. Yeah. Oh, that's just... Oh. 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 What you want to do is you want to get a finger in each of these high sockets. You want to lean back. You want to keep it very close to your body. And you want to bring it back and bring it very low to the surface of the lane and let go. So Martin and his newfound friends bowled into the night. The thunderous sounds and raucous laughter coming from the castle terrified the nearby villagers who felt certain that Martin was being torn limb from limb. But when dawn finally broke, all was deathly still. I warned him against returning. After all, it was only luck had got him through the first night anyway. Oh, do you remember that idiot with the red hair? You mean the one with the gold tooth? Yes, well, he only got through the first night. Maybe this one has a gold tooth. I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, no! oh. oh, good morning. I think I feel... A headache coming on. How did you make out this time? Well, I played nine pins with some fellows. I lost some money. Nine pins? How interesting. You didn't lose all your money, I trust. No, just a few coppers. I'm delighted to hear that, my dear boy. Nobody has got this far before. You should be proud of yourself. Out. <laughs> Didn't you get the shivers this time? No, I just enjoyed myself. And unfortunately, it's getting better all the time. If only I knew what the shivers were. I'm so glad you're alive. Last night, I heard the most awful racket, like thunder crashing down from the heavens. We were just bowling. Bowling? Oh. None of the others ever had a second meal. Oh, except for the redhead. But I didn't like him like I like you. <laughs> Why do you like me? I've never met anybody as brave as you in my whole life. All the others were scared just thinking about going into the castle. But you're different. Oh, di I'm different, I know. I'm, I, I wish I could be scared. Even just a little. Do you know what I think? All the others wanted the treasure and wished to be king. But you're going in there to prove something to yourself. That's why you've lasted two nights. Don't you think so? What? But, Martin, last night I had the most fearful premonition. I saw the evil sorcerer, and he was roasting your flesh over the coals of an open fire. Martin, did you hear me? The evil sorcerer himself will surely try to kill you. That should do it. What? Give me the shivers. I'm getting desperate. Martin, will you kiss me? Sure. <laughs> the third and final night was exceedingly dark, and the wind whispered of horrible spirits. But the boy ignored these omens. 
Amanda's premonitions had only served to reinforce his determination to learn that which he had never known. Consider yourself valiant, courageous, heroic, and a worthy opponent. But you are wrong. So very, very wrong. Now you will find out all about the shivers because you are going to die. <laughs> Castle? Never, never. Yes, yes. Oh, God. 
Will you give me the treasure? When I get out of here, you are a dead man. Dead. <laughs> He's very pleased. <laughs> You're going to have all the treasure. All right, then. But if you try any tricks, I'll squash you. Why, I could crush you like a flea. A flea is stronger than I am. You could have everything in my kingdom. Your kingdom? Yes. King Vladimir! Yes! Well, why have you haunted your own castle? Because I didn't want to lose my daughter. Oh. Well. Sorry about the rug. Two out of three. Ah. Uh. <sighs> you have defeated the curse on this castle, and it shall be haunted no more. Frankly, I'm sick of the place anyway. My dear, I'm to cost heat. Oh, well. For the first time since the villagers could remember, the day dawned sunny and bright. Martin was unaware of it, dreaming as he was, of failure in his quest. When suddenly... Come along, my boy. Rise and shine. This time I bet you learned what the shivers are. No, afraid not. Well, anyway, congratulations. You're a rich man now. Oh. What is this? The bill. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now, may I present my greatest treasure. had nothing to do with it, my dear. Martin's far too clever to be scared. You're the princess? Yes, Martin, I am. You two know each other. Oh, yes, Father. Why, we have even kissed. Oh, well, I don't know that I entirely approve, but um, I'm glad, anyway, that Martin is alive. I'm quite beginning to like you, my boy. <laughs> oh, Martin, I'm so happy. I have such plans for us. Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be four nights, though, was it? anything the matter about no it's i i just feel i feel funny it's just is it hot in here no mm -hmm. it's not hot darling i already have my wedding dress picked out oh that's <laughs> could someone open a window oh, and we'll redecorate like i'll put up some curtains and and and, and i'll clean this place up and people will bow down to us and martin will have children children all our own oh. igor and, oh. and ivan and lars oh lars <laughs> I love you. Oh, Martin, darling, what? you're shivering. I am. Is it? Oh, 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 oh I am. Oh, oh I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm but I don't like this. This isn't nice. So the boy who left home to find out about the shivers finally did, and in doing so, he learned that what really scared him was growing up and falling in love. I'll stick with the peach. Martin and Amanda were soon married and might have lived happily ever after. But one day... <gasps> What's wrong, my sweet? Oh, nothing. I don't know. I guess I have the blues. The blues? What are the blues? Well, you know, everybody gets them occasionally. They do? Mm-hmm. The blues? Mm -hmm. Everybody gets them? Well, I've never gotten them. I don't even know what they are. What are the blues? Would I know them if I had them? Martin, where are you going? Well, I'm going to find out about the blues. Oh, no. 
Thank <laughs> you.